In my upcoming videos, we will talk about Korean celebrities who have been away from the entertainment industry for a long time. Have you heard of Dennis O? Oh? Dennis O oh is an American model and actor working in South Korea and other parts of Asia. He was born on August 29, 1981, in the United States to a Korean mother and an American father who was a former GI. Dennis began his career in South Korean entertainment by modeling in a couple of TV commercials, and then was cast in the TV series Sweet Spy. The producer, Ko Dong Sun, said he had cast Dennis because his wife recommended him, having seen Dennis's commercial on TV. This commercial, which featured the Vitruvian Man of Leonardo da Vinci, gave Dennis the nickname, Living David, or, Walking Statue. Sweet Spy is a melodrama starring Nam Sangmi as widowed police officer Lee Sunny, who finds herself suddenly immersed into international espionage. Dennis Oh plays Han Yo L, an undercover agent. Lee Juyun plays Kong Joon, who's recently transferred to the criminal investigation department. He opens an old case involving Sun Ae's past that leads him to an entanglement between the current political-slash-economic powers and their secrets. In this drama, he is really handsome and his character suits him well. It's one of my favorite dramas of all time. His second drama was Witch Yo He. His character name was Johnny Kruger, and I have seen the drama, though not quite my cup of tea. He played the second lead. Some viewers judged him for his acting, nets can be rough, but I only watched the drama because of him. In 2008, he starred in East of Eden. The character he played was a multi-millionaire casino heir, a tough image change from his previous roles. I haven't seen that TV series, but I've heard it's interesting. I haven't seen that drama series, but I've heard it's interesting. Three years went by, but he was not cast in any Korean drama series. During the three years that he took off, I saw him in one of the American TV series. I forget about the TV series title but I think his character was a yoga instructor, not sure though Amnesia Attack. <laughs> he was finally given a role from the other side of the world. This is where his acting career began in China. Chinese drama Falling in Love was released in 2011. He played the second male lead. You can look up this drama on the drama list. After being a hot topic in China, he was able to get major roles in some of the dramas there. His last drama was A Thousand Miles of Mansions in 2021. Now I can see him in some Korean fan posts. I heard he has been in Ontario, Canada since. He is now 41 years old, so we can call him a juicy, respectful way to call someone older than you in Korea. So far he was still handsome but more mature. I haven't heard any romantic stories about him. I'm not sure if he's still single. That concludes my research about him. I have a question, have you heard of Dennis O before? Do you think he is handsome? Which of his dramas have you seen?